Hello friends. In today's session, we are going to complete some remaining topics in string handling. Okay. We were seeing about some string methods, string handling methods. One of them is ensure capacity. If you want to pre-allocate room for certain number of characters after a string buffer has been constructed, you can use ensure capacity to set the size of the buffer. So what does this mean? You are, you are going to pre-allocate room. Okay. So you are ensuring that the total number of capacity of this string buffer is going to this much. Okay. It is going to be this much. So ensure capacity will set the size of the buffer pre-allocating. Okay. This is useful to, is this is useful if you know in advance that you will be appending a large number of small string in a string buffer. Its general general syntax is void ensure capacity and in bracket you have, you, you have to give the capacity. Here capacity specifies the size of the buffer you are going to pre-allocate. Then set length. To set the length of the buffer within a string buffer object use the set length method. Okay. So length of the buffer will be predetermined by the set length. Void set length, integer length. Here length specifies the length of the buffer. This value must be non-negative. Okay. Why non-negative? Because you cannot have the negative buffer length. <coughs> <coughs> When you increase the size of the buffer, null characters are added at the end of the existing buffer. If you call set length with the value less than the current value written by the length, then the character stored beyond the new length will be lost. Okay. So what will be your length, final length will be greater than the current value of the length. Okay. For example, you are if you are storing the name like... Uh, I am, I live in India, okay. So, uh, maybe it is having I space A M space I N D I A, okay. There are, have, there, are, there are 10 number of characters in this, okay. So, final length of this string buffer will be 10 and you are setting the length as 7. So, fine, uh, last seven, 5 characters India will be lost. And your total final uh, string will be I leave in. So, this is not expected. So, for that purpose, your set length should be having value greater than the current value written by the length. The set character demo example we will be seeing now. Uh, this will use the set length method. Okay. Character at and set character at. The value of single character can be obtained from the string buffer via the character at method. Okay. So, if you are specifying any index over here, it will give you the character at that index. <coughs> <coughs> you can set the value of character within a string buffer using set character at. <coughs> the general forms are Character, character, at, void, set, character, at, integer, where, character, yes. For character, at, where, specifies the index of the character being obtained. Okay. So, character, at, will give you the character, at, index, and set, character, at, will uh, store the character, at, specified, index. For set, character, at, where, specifies the index of the character being set, and CS specifies the new value of that character. For both those, both of these methods where must be non-negative as usual and must not specify a location beyond the end of the buffer. Okay. The following example we will be seeing now. String buffer sb is equal to new string buffer hello. Buffer before sb. Okay. So, this will give you hello. Then character at 1 before 0, 1. So, it will give you e. And now uh, at 1 I am replacing E. So it will be H I double L O. And now its length is 2. 0, 1, 2. So it will be H I L. Okay. Then character 1 after it will give you I. Hello character add before E, before after high. Uh, buffer after high character at 1 after I. Okay. Now next method is get characters. 
to copy a substring of the string buffer into array use the get character split it has the general form void get character so the substring that is multiple characters more of more than one characters from string buffer if you want to obtain them you will use the get cache method void get cache integer source start integer source end character target integer target start the source start specifies the index of the beginning of the substring and the source end specifies index that is one past the end of the desired substring okay why one past because last is one additional okay this means that the substring contains the character from source start through source end minus one okay so like you are specifying uh, index from 0 1 2 3 and 4 if there are five characters the array that will receive the characters is specified by target so this is your target this will receive the uh, total number of characters and target start at which uh, from which place you have to uh, place the characters the index within the target at which substring will be copied it will be passed in target start care must be taken to assure that target array is large enough to hold the previous number of characters plus new number of characters okay to hold the number of characters in the specified substring append the append method concatenate the string representation of any other type of data to the end of the invoking string buffer object string buffer append string buffer append here we are passing string here we are specifying number and here we are specifying object okay it will concatenate the string representation of any other type of data at the end of the invoking string buffer object if you are specifying string string will be appended if you are specifying number number will be appended if you are specifying object object representation will be appended <coughs> String value of is called for each parameter to obtain its string representation. For every everything, number will be converted to string using string dot value of. Object will be converted to string using string dot value of. The result is appended to the current string buffer object. The buffer itself is written by each version of append. Okay. Uh, for each version. The total uh, total string, total appended string will be written. This allows subsequent calls to be chained together. Now we will see string buffer SB is equal to new string buffer 40. Okay. So SB is equal to new string buffer number is 40. SB dot append A is equal to dot append A dot append uh, exclamatory dot to string and we are printing the string okay so what will be the output first it will say a is equal to <coughs> then append a a is equal to a so a's value is 42 so it will be converted to string a is equal to 42 append exclamatory as a string and it will be converted to two string and then i mean uh, we are printing this s value okay the append method is most often called when the plus operator is used on string object java automatically changes modification to string instance into similar operations on a string buffer instance okay what does this mean it will automatically change modification to a string instance into similar operation on string buffer instance the same operations on string buffer instance are there likewise in string class instance string object concatenation invokes append on a string buffer object after the concatenation has been performed the compiler insert a call to two string to return the modifiable string buffer back into a constant string okay so after all these things are done the compiler will insert a call to two string so string buffer will be converted to two string to return the modifiable string buffer back into a constant string okay that new string will not be uh, changed okay this is this is immutable string final concatenated string is immutable or in unchangeable
then all of this may seem unreasonably complicated why not just have one string class and have it behave more or less the string buffer why we cannot have a one string class and no matter what we are going to perform we have to just remember what are the methods for string and all these methods will work on string itself and whatever modification we are going to do on that one string object itself why we are using that string buffer the answer is performance there are many optimizations that the java runtime can make knowing that string objects are immutable okay so these values cannot be changed java hides most of the complexity of conversion between string and string buffer thankfully okay so string objects are immutable but still when you are converting like in the previous example complete concatenated uh, string buffer value to to string and saving into string constant this conversion is automatically hidden complexity of this conversion is automatically hidden by java okay we should be thankful to java for this many programmers will never feel the need to use string buffer directly and will be able to express most operations in terms of the plus operator on string variables okay insert the insert method insert one string into another it's it is overloaded to accept values of all simple type plus strings object and character sequences okay so one insert method one insert the one string into another string and it is overloaded to accept all uh, values simple types simple data types string object and character sequences like append it calls string dot value of to obtain the string representation of the value it is called with so that string value will be automatically called in this case also this string is then inserted to the invoking string buffer object string buffer insert integer index string integer index character integer index object okay so string string is already in string so it will not be converted uh then character ch will be converted to its string representation object obj will be converted to its string representation index specifies the index at which point the string will be inserted to the invoking string buffer object okay so now we will see inserting like between i and java sd is equal to new string buffer i java so insert to at the position to i am printing giving like and string okay so i <coughs> i i is at position 0 then space then like at position 2 so uh, at 0 there is i at 1 there is space at 2 i am uh, putting like and space so it will be like i space like space java so my new statement is i like java okay the output of this example is i like java <laughs> reverse you can reverse the characters within string buffer object using reverse string buffer reverse okay so all the complete characters will be converted or reversed this is the <coughs> <coughs> this method returns the reversed object on which it was called the following program will demonstrate the reverse okay new string buffer a b c d e f uh, we are printing this a b c d e f s dot reverse and then again we are printing so output is a b c d e f and reverse string is f e d c b a okay so it is very simple to use it will return the string buffer object and how to use it string buffer object dot reverse okay delete and delete character at you can delete characters within string buffer by using methods delete and delete character at string buffer delete integer start index integer end index okay so from start index to end index the uh, characters will be deleted and delete character at which location we have to delete the delete method deletes the sequence of characters from the invoking object here start index specifies the index of the first character to remove end index specifies the index one past the last character to remove that is start index to end index minus 1 the resulting string buffer object is returned 
delete character at will specify uh, location and so at that location this character will be deleted so new uh, new method new program is new string buffer this is a test 4 7 after delete delete character at 0 after delete character at string buffer this is a test okay so uh, if i am deleting character at 0 t will be deleted because here from here my characters are started 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so my zero character is t and it is deleted my final string is the he is a test okay replace you can replace one set of characters with another set inside a string buffer object by using replace a string buffer replace start index end index string string okay so what it will do it will replace one set of characters with another set inside a string buffer object substring being replaced is specified by the indexes start index and uh, end index the substring at start index through end index minus one is replaced the replacement string is in string the resulting string buffer object is written and we will see this example this is a test okay so from start index 5 <coughs> from start index 5 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 6 7 there is i s and space i have to replace what this was a test okay so my final a string after a final string buffer object after replacement is this was a test because from index number 5 to 7 there was a string called if and I have replaced it with what okay substring obtain a portent of sub string buffer calling substring uh, start index start index minus 1 the first form returns the substring that started start index and runs to the end invoking string buffer object that is start index through end index minus 1 okay the methods work just like those defined for string that were described earlier now we will see uh, additional string buffer methods in the table that those were added by the j2sc file string buffer append code append code point character appends a unicode code point to the end of the invoking object the reference to the object is written added by j2sc file returns the unicode code point at the location specified by i added by j2sc file returns uh, this is code point add integer code point before i returns the unicode code point at the location that precedes that specified by i added by j2sc file integer code point count integer start integer end returns the number of code points in the portion of the invoking string that are between start and end minus 1 <laughs> I'm sorry. Index of string such as the invoking string buffer. <coughs> returns such as the invoking string buffer for the first occurrence of the string. Returns the index of the match, match or minus 1 if no match is found. Index of string start index such as the invoking string buffer for the first occurrence of string beginning at start index. Okay. So it will give you the invoking string buffer for the first occurrence of string. First index of string beginning at start index. It is the index of the match or minus 1 if no match is found. Okay. Here uh, start index is not specified but here start index is specified. So here st from start index uh, the search of this string will begin and from 0 here it, uh, the search of string will be big the last index of such as the invoking string buffer for the last occurrence of string from 0 returns the index for the match of minus 1 if no match is found such as the invoking in last index of string integer start index such as the invoking string buffer for the last occurrence of string Beginning at start index, that is the index of the match or minus 1 if no match is found. Okay. Offset by code points returns the index at with, with the invoking string that is num code points beyond the starting index specified by start. 
एडेड बाय जावा टू एस सी फाइव कैरेक्टर सिक्वेंस सब सिक्वेंस स्टार्ट इंडेक्स ड्रॉप इंडेक्स Returns a substring of the invoking string beginning at start index, stopping at stop index. This method is required by character sequence interface, which is now implemented by string buffer. <coughs> <coughs> string to size reduces the size of the character buffer for the invoking object to exactly fit the current content. Added by Java to AC five. <laughs> Aside from subsequence, which implements method required by character sequence, the other methods allow string buffer to be searched for an occurrence of the string. Okay, so only subsequence will require the character sequence interface. All other methods allow a string buffer to be searched for occurrence of the string. Following program will say give you index and lost index of methods. One to one integer i i is equal to s b dot index of one. Okay, so first index of one is Uh, first occurrence of one is zero. Okay, then uh, S B dot last index of one. The last occurrence of one is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the last index is eight. Okay, this is the output. Then string builder. The J two S C five adds new string class to Java's already powerful string handling capability. This new class is called string builder. It is identical to string buffer except for one important difference. It is not synchronized, which means that it is not say thread set. Okay. Um, string buffer. It is identical to string buffer except for one important difference. A string builder is not synchronized. It is not thread set. The advantage of string builder is faster performance. However, in case which we are in which we are using multi threading, you must use string buffer rather than string builder okay because it is not thread set when you are using multi threading you should always use string buffer rather than string builder okay so in this way we have completed all the topics related to string handling from the next session onwards we will be we will be seeing about the practical part of string handling okay so meet you in the next session thank you so much